The main reason I chose to study physics at UCC is because of the chemical physics degree. That's what I studied because I always had like an equal passion for both chemistry and physics it's, and it was all about kind of understanding what was going on around me. You know, I always kept on asking, why does this happen? I was like, okay, well, why, why does that happen? And then keep on asking why and eventually you know, you're reading a physics book. What caught me off guard completely was um, societies. Um, like from the get-go, uh, I suppose it was the second week of college, uh, two guys came in from the Physics and Astronomy Society into UCC and they came into my physics lecture and started talking about they were electing a first year rep. And they said you'd be on the committee and basically work with them on kind of deciding what happens with the society and also you could, you know, be a voice for the first years. And I said I hadn't a clue about what it really entailed but it sounded fun. So I, I ran for it and I got the position and it's been two years now and I'm now chairperson of the society and honestly I would say it's the best decision I made since coming to the college. Like, it didn't change like it didn't only change my experience of physics in UCC, it changed my entire life. Because like the, the society, it's not like, oh, we all huddle in a group and do some physics problems being like, oh, neato. It's actually, it's a network for students of physics because honestly, you need, you need that network. You need people to kind of gather with you and be like, it's gonna be okay. And as well as that, we also try and spread physics throughout the university because there is a stigma against the field of physics. If you say you're studying physics, people are like, Yikes, you know, and I think we're just trying to spread that interest and understanding of the field of physics and make it more, I don't know, I suppose pleasant looking because it is, at the end of the day, a gorgeous field of science that has a lot of bad publicity because people didn't like it in, Le in Leaving Cert or Junior Cert and I'm like, that's, you, you just, you weren't, I believe, shown it the right way and that's the two aims of society. And because of that, I've been able to get involved in it in fantastic ways. Like one of my best friends now, I actually made through the society when we went to see the Northern Lights in Iceland two years ago, and she's an, an English major. Uh, but she's passionate about physics, and that's why she came on the trip. And she's been one of like, the society's most active members since. And as well as that, like most of my friends like, in the physics group, we've become a lot tighter because of activities from the society as well. Like, we've gone on trips to like the European Space Agency Technology Centre in Amsterdam which is honestly one of the most mind-blowing experiences I ever would have done, and it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't involved with the society. It's a whole litany of events and experiences and people that they just, you know, they're integral to my life in general, and especially my experience of physics in UCC. There's 109 societies in UCC, and if you can't find one of them that interests you, you have some seriously niche preferences. Like honestly, like societies in UCC is like it sets it above every university in the country, without a doubt. The most you can look into college before you come here is like the prospectus, what's about the course and stuff. Whereas now, like since I've come to the college, I've had the opportunity to interact with different researchers, PhD students, lecturers, and see like what can I do with my life with my physics degree, and the possibilities are endless.